Article 33, as we have that in the drafts, part-time position to full-time right. parks and recreations. So the town of Hampton vote to raise this yes. appropriate the sum of $50,737 for the purpose of changing the parks foreman position in the parks and recreation department from part-time to a permanent year-round full-time position. With the growth of the town and the play seasons lengthening and the growing demands on the recreational facilities, the park foreman cannot do all that is required during the current limited schedule. This appropriation would fund the salary and benefits of the new full-time position. If the Warren article passes, the amount of $27,664 appropriated in the operating budget in Article 15 of the Parks Reactor for the Parks and Recreation Foreman as a part-time position will not be spent. So. On this one, this, this money here would just bring this to a full-time position, but it's really um, looking at it as a difference of $23,000 difference from what's already in the budget to, to make it to make it uh, full-time salary plus benefits any discussion from the board you know I agree a hundred percent with the necessity I agree a hundred percent with the necessity but I'm just worried about this year I mean I agree a hundred percent and it's it, it it's you know you, you have people coming in from other towns to the playing fields Looking at the fields, you know, it, 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 it's a showcase for Hampton. It's display of what Hampton is. You know, I go to a lot of towns to watch my grandkids' games and stuff, and a lot of towns have absolutely spectacular fields, and it's not due to anybody not putting the work in, in the fields. They're just not having the people to do it. But I, I just don't know if I could vote for it this year, but I, I do think it's necessary. If I may expound on, on the... Uh Selectman's remarks, please. Uh, above the rim uh, facilities that are private concerns down in uh, um, next to our landfill operations uh, uh, sustain a very high intensity of uh, participation. It's private sector. They're a tax <coughs> organization, I believe. Uh, it's no cost to the town. Uh, they uh, uh, rent rooms. They, uh, they use the uh, hospitality venues that are in this town quite heavily to include restaurants and it's no extra money. Uh, I do not support additional uh, uh, employees at the Public Works Department, and uh, uh, for the same reason. I heard a description last week of the, the taskings that would be associated with that full-time. Uh, we uh, listened to the director, and I uh, do not support Mr. Silberdick's comments about that presentation. Uh, it's one heck of a department and one heck of a director. But I would say that uh, um, we have jam code, and uh, many other uh, contractors that help out when we're burdened with surge operations to include snow removal, and it would rise to that level. I, I think the same way of this, and I, I do agree that uh, um, we've got some heavy, heavy neglected, uh, uh, overlooked, and uh, bypassed uh, fiscal challenges associated with must-do, must-do infrastructure in this town by people like Mr. Silberdick's group that have never addressed those infrastructure requirements and now it has come back to haunt us and now it is time to pay the bill and nobody wants to pay more taxes and we're all taxpayers on this board so I, I don't support that sorry for the elaboration but I did want to give some rationale behind it and thank you and your department for uh, the great work they do thank you mr. chairman anybody else I agree with uh, selectman Bean and selectman Waddell. what I, I think one of the things that we've done this year is we had a subcommittee made up for wage and hourly prices. I think that's going to help us out a little bit. I think part of our problem, we, we've had it with the lifeguards and had it with everything else, is that we we may not, there's something wrong there, that we may not be paying enough, we may not be to include some of these things. We have to look at that. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe we need to get a few more part-timers there in the summer uh, to help you out, but it appears from this board that we can't support this this article going forward this year. All right, well, I'll go back to my original statement that I understand there's a lot of things on the plate, and we all have needs, and they're just going to have to come in line. So. Diana, we know that you do an excellent job over there for what you have and what Thanks. you do. Thank you. Uh, you know, the, the citizens of this town are well served by your department. Thank uh, you. It is, um, and it, it's 
not just the children, it's the seniors, it's it's everybody. So it's uh, the, the adults playing basketball, the kids playing basketball to the seniors in, in their thing. And, and we understand all of that. And we know uh, the time and time again the work you guys do to make sure you get your programs out there. And we really appreciate that. Thank you. And she spends a lot of time. She doesn't even really live in Hampton, but she t takes a big part of the Hampton Historical Society and is very supportive in so many different things. And you are always there. <coughs> I think we all always notice it. Thank you. All right.